Hello. Today we're going to be talking about how to install the OpenSSH, or Secure Shell Daemon. Before we get started with that, we're going to add a new user. In this case, the user's name will be NewGuy. We're going to add this user with the command sudo user add tac g to add it to the group users, and tac g games to add to the group games. As you can see, the user's name is, actually, is also in this command, and we're naming him NewGuy. Alright, from here we're going to install the OpenSSH daemon. In my case, since I'm using Arch Linux, I'll be using sudo pacman tac capital S OpenSSH. In your, if you're using Ubuntu or Debian, you'll be using apt-get or aptitude, and effectively for Fedora, you'll be using yum install. The package may be named differently depending on your distribution, but if I'm correct, for Ubuntu and Debian and Red Hat as well as Fedora, it should be openssh-server. I'll skip the command now and show you what it looks like. Alright, that is OpenSSH installed. Now we'll be editing our SSH daemon configuration file. To do that, we'll be using our preferred editor. You'll be executing this as sudo. You'll be editing slash etc ssh slash sshd underscore config. You'll notice in my configuration file I've changed a few, da a few things. Your default port will be port 22. I've changed that as well as I've enabled listening on IPv6. I've restricted it to only work over protocol version 2. I've changed the rekey, inter the rekey interval as well as the server key bits. You'll notice that I enabled RSA authentication and public key authentication. We can get into these uses later as well as many others. You know, if you scroll down, you notice other things that may become important to you or that may have some benefit, such as allow agent forwarding, allow TCP forwarding, which will allow you to tunnel your connection over SSH. We'll also talk about that in a later date and time. For now, we'll just go over the basics. You'll, of course, be enabling protocol version 2 only. You'll be setting up the address family for any, unless you have a specific interface you want to listen over, as well as the, um, the key. You don't have to worry about the key regeneration interval as, or the key bits at this point in time. If I were you, I'd disable root login, which is why we created our new user moments ago. Strict mode. We don't have to limit max authorize unless you don't want to. I just did that out of preference. Also, I prefer to enable RSA authentication and public key authentication. Now we'll be accessing our SSH server for the first time. To do that, I'll be typing SSH. If you change the default port, tac p, and the port number, in my case, 6967. The username, new guy, at sign, localhost. It'll ask us the first time you authenticate, and you'll type your password, which in my case is password. There, now we're logged in as new guy. So, what can we do from this new shell? Well, in this case, since we added new guy to the group games, we should be able to play Tetris. And yes, we can actually play a single player game. Which I'm going to be horribly bad at. There, I hope you enjoyed what you learned today, and have a wonderful time. Take care.